So, what's the plan? Has anyone got any ideas? I've got this idea about this stoner guy who just sits on the couch all day pulling cones. He just chills, man. And then what happens? Well, that's the beauty of it. He does nothing. He just sits there. It'd be a really easy shot. Guy sitting on a couch, just pulling cones. No worries. Easy. What about this? What if there's um, a guy in a park or something, and he could be a gardener or a groundskeeper? He's wandering around, doing his thing, while people in the park are just sort of milling around. Wait, why don't we make him a busker? Not like a music guy though, he's a juggler. Yeah, that's good, yeah, what, but what if he's crap? It's like completely useless, and it's killing him because, um, because his father was one of the great jugglers of the world, like the pinnacle of his craft. Grown men wept when that guy tossed his balls around. But he has to give it up because he gets the shakes from pulling too many canes. So he lives out his life watching videos of his past glory. What if he loses the use of his hands in a tragic accident? Like he tries to juggle one chainsaw too many. So now he's our guy, living in the shadow of his crippled father, but completely unable to master the basics. So he's got to, um... So he has to give it up. So he sells all his juggling stuff. He could buy some really good gear with the money he makes. Um, what about... It starts when he sold everything but his rubber chicken. So the rest is just backstory. And uh, we start from this point, and this guy is like you know, standing outside a store. Make it a pet store. And so our guy, he's standing outside this pet store reading a sign in the window that says, um, We accept trading. Yeah, yeah. And this guy, he's reading the sign and then looks down at his hand at this rubber chicken. But it's emotional, you know, like he's saying a last goodbye to his father. So in he goes. Then there's some kind of quick fate, you know, time passes, and our guy walks back out, totally stoked with his new trading. He's traded the chicken in for a pet rock. And he's called it Rocky. Or Stony. The dogs will bark. <laughs> but the caravan will continue its journey. No, 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 it's called Rocky and he's going to love it. So he gets back home all excited. He walks into the lounge room and calls out. Hi, I'm back. I've got a surprise for you. What is it? So as he comes into the room, she's a bit excited. I traded in Dad's chicken for something better. You what? So now he's thinking, shit, maybe I've done the wrong thing. Oh, it's beautiful. So what? She likes it. A story needs conflict. What if she hates it? She loved this guy's father. Well, his chicken anyway. And now the stick's gone and traded it in. I can't believe you did that. You bastard. So it's one of those love on the rock stories now. Great. Chick flick. No, it's good. This is what we need. Who gives a shit about jugglers and rubber chickens? The story's in the relationship. It's about people. So there's this couple. They've been fighting about something. I don't know, maybe he stood her up for his mates too much, kissed someone else, whatever. Maybe it's over a chicken. Maybe even a chicken. But clearly, he needs to make it up to her. They've agreed to meet at a bar or something to try and work things out. He knows it's his last chance. <laughs> no excuses. No, I've had enough. No, that's it. If our relationship means anything to you, you'll be there, alright? So this girl's sitting at a table at the bar looking at her watch every couple of minutes. But the dude's at home, on the couch, bonging on like a champion. Oh shit man, we're about to be somewhere. He gets in with his car, it's some piece of shit Datsun. Or Tirana or something. He gets in, he can turn the key in the ignition. Then we see a montage, kind of run all run style. He has to make it on time, because he really does love the girl, it's just a bit of a tool. Meanwhile, Back at the bar, she's starting to get really pissed. What, blind? Off, Jason. Pissed off. 
So, the guy finally gets to the bar and he's in such a panic that he pretty much runs smack bang into the bouncer. And so, you know, the doorman's a little pissed off. Nice one, Tiger. Got your ID there, mate. So now he's got a new problem. Shit. So another running guy montage. Clearly he has to run all the way back to his car. The guy finally gets to his car, he grabs his ID, by now he looks like shit. Meanwhile, the girl's still at the bar, getting really pissed off. She's thinking he's so late, he just mustn't care at all. He just doesn't care at all. So now he's got to run back to the pub. The beauty of this is we can use the same material. Who's going to notice? So he gets back to the bar, he's puffing and panting, and he flashes his ID triumphantly at the bouncer. And the bouncer smiles and says, Sorry mate, not no shoes. And this rock-loving, chickenless juggler who can't even catch drops to his knees devastated while the girl of his dreams leaves the bar and walks right past him. He's lost her forever. I bought you lollies, I love you heaps. Oh shit, you'd need a cane after that, wouldn't you? No. No, no. Well, I thought my idea was good. I, mean, I like it. This guy's a juggler. You don't see stuff about jugglers. What's wrong with the guy? The stoner guy. That's no, not. because it's boring. I'm, what? The stoner guy. He sits on the couch all day. You might as well. Yeah, you might as well go over here. Just yeah. when Harry well. meets Sally, idea. Well, well, this is better than that. Boy meets girl. Well, 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 it's sort of the No, it's not boring. Maybe we could put the juggler into rock. Big deal. Why can't you juggle it from a pet? I really like the juggler. Can we just have some juggling? No. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, well, let's roll the joint, shall we? Anyway, I think we've got some pretty good ideas here. Um, I think that someone's going to have to, like, take them all and put them into some sort of script. Anyone? There once was a guy who got really, really stoned. Really pissed. 